Hello, and welcome back to a quick Strong Collectors review. Now, I know in our previous episodes we said that we were going to stick to older figures, but Jordan and I have fairly strong feelings about this newer figure that we just got. So today, in our review, we're going to be talking about DC Multiverse Mega Figure Bane. So, I don't know, Jordan just got this one in the mail and he promptly decided to list it for sale because he was such a hater of this Bane. Um, so I guess I'll let Jordan open it up. Jordan, what were your thoughts on this Bane and uh, why are you such a hater? Oh, come on. My, my first thoughts, Dakota, I'm holding them up right now. Oh, I, I forget this is a YouTube exclusive, so you can yes, see it. Yes, yes. Um, I was very excited when I heard rumors of, I think you may have just sent me the photo, and I was like, oh, cool, a kind of classic Bane with sort of a McFarlane look to him, Mega Fig. I was very excited. I was initially... A, confused about the lack of extra hands mm -hmm. because i know todd likes to fill out his plastic you know so i thought that True. was kind of weird um but i was still stoked and i got it and i don't know like it just what really threw me off is like the chest almost has this weird like cottage cheese ab <laughs> thing going on i don't really know if it looks kind of like rocky and rocky six when he's like it just looked a little weird. That threw yeah. me off. I don't know what yours, the neck is like, but like mine isn't totally painted. You see that? Oh, really? Is yours painted all the way? Or is mine just Yeah, I guess I can kind of see where it's like supposed to be the mask, yeah, but it's, it's flesh like colored. it's weird, like, bulge of flesh. It's just kind of, yeah. for lack of a better word, it's sort of icky. <laughs> it's <laughs> like he's got this weird, like, cottage cheesy chest and this weird line on his neck. Yeah. But, like, I can do with the whole tank on the back and, like, the extra ports and all that. But it just – and you talked about this a little bit, but it's just the lack of kind of posability for me. Like, Yeah. So I guess I, – I, Yeah. I would say my biggest gripe with it – and I, I'm not on the same boat as Jordan. I think it's still a pretty cool figure. I am disappointed with it, but it's still pretty cool, I think. However – like Jordan was saying, the articulation on this guy is so sad. Like, again, McFarlane's are not usually known for their poseability. Like, you're never going to get your Batman in the same pose as you're going to get your Marvel Legends Spider-Man. But this Bane, he has, like, zero ab crunch. Like, absolutely not. Like, if you can see on the screen, I pull him back, I push him forward. Really, you, you can't even see that. So there's nothing there. There's nothing on the inside. It's He's got, like... Also, if you feel on his back, it's, like, hollow in his low to mid back. Like, oh, there's yeah, no plastic time. in there. I don't know if you've noticed that before, Jordan. No, that's um, terrible. So that is odd. Um, and then his shoulders. Like, one thing I really love about the McFarlane, like, shoulder articulation is they always have that, like, butterfly joint with the extra disc. So when you, like, open their shoulders up and where you would typically see this like joint where there's like kind of that big cut you can usually shift the disc over and it covers it up and it like like mcfarlane really loves to do is it keeps the integrity of the sculpt for some reason he well, decided not to put kind those of concealing the unsightly joints yeah, right I agree. and for some reason he decided not to put that like classic mcfarlane extra disc to cover that up on this bane which i think is unfortunate because they're with Bane being a mega figure, it's a lot bigger of a gap there. So, mm -hmm. and single jointed elbows that really, I mean, you can get them to almost 90 degrees, but then what paint, what, what poses do you really put them in? Like I'd have him pose yeah. just standing with his arms up, but it's about, I would have rather at least even had one fist, one open hand. Cause I feel like the yeah. double open hand, like it looks like he's about to like, start surfing or something I, I don't know it's just kind of like it's a shame because it's yeah like i wanted a cool bane mm -hmm. and it, it does it's okay but it's just not yeah. not quite what i think it could have been right let me grab my 
Lobo here. I just want to do a size comparison. I've never really done a size side by side. So he's about a head taller, mm -hmm. but not by a ton. Definitely a lot bigger of a like upper body. His like torso is much bigger. But the articulation is for sure my biggest gripe. It doesn't really pose great. I mean, you can get his leg up and like, I mean, you could probably do your Batman breaking his back over his knee, maybe breaking Batman's arm instead because um, you could pull out your year two Batman and maybe get a good <laughs> pose with that. Um, but this is Ripping about his the, arms uh... out of their sockets. <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, otherwise, like, I think the paint is pretty good. Like, I didn't notice that, like, mask. Yeah. Paint. No, that's not even up. the biggest thing. Like, I think the sculpt, the paint is pretty good. It's just, so, yeah, like you said, it's mm -hmm. mainly the articulation on, like, the shoulders. Um, I think the the um, ab crunch lacking is, is definitely a bummer and just the lack of alternate hands, which really those three things would, to me, take it from an okay figure to a great figure. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I... I Again, I, I'd like the figure. I'm happy to have it. I'm not selling mine. I know you're a little, you're feeling different, but, um, so with all that being said, Jordan, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best figure you own, one being it's only Ultimate worthy Wolverine. of the trash. <laughs> Ultimate Wolverine. Yes. Ultimate From Wolverine Hasbro. is the number one. Yes. Where does he I, rank on your scale? I might go with like a six, dude. A six? Wow, I'm actually surprised you gave him that high of a ranking. I don't know. I mean, it's okay. Five yeah. seems a little harsh. Yeah. I guess, like, yeah. I, I, I think know. I would agree with a six. I guess I'm not so ready to send my sixes out to pasture. Um, because, yeah, if he could articulate better, I, I would definitely put him higher on the list. His weird, like, neck vein things that he has going on and his weird kind of like you said the it's like cellulite chest muscles not that there's anything wrong with cellulite we're all body positivity here but like <laughs> <laughs> on my action figures we could sculpt it better um but I, I'd, I'd give him a six also um shoot all right maybe i go with a five then if you're a six all right well there you go i mean i don't know i mean Pick him up, maybe, if you like Bane, but also maybe you'll be able to find him cheaper if there's a lot I'd, of people that think the same as Jordan. Yeah, I'd go wait for a clearance or a sale from someone okay. online. I would not personally advocate paying 40 or retail, right? Wasn't it 40 39? Yeah. 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 Okay. I would say no. Well, there you go. You've got to maybe pick it up from Dakota, wait for the sale from Jordan, Jordan gives it a five. I give it a six. Ah, I hope we get a better Bane, but also at the same time, I don't really want to pay for another Bane because there's not anything like, I mean, maybe they give you a classic one that doesn't have so much of the tanks and stuff, but it wouldn't really be worth picking up another one for me. So this one is just going to be my Bane. I don't need another one. It does the trick. Put him on my shelf, kind of vanilla posed. Call it good. Parting thoughts, Jordan. You good? I would just say, let us know what you think. Yeah, if you uh, if you're thinking we're absolutely crazy and this is the best figure ever made, let us know what we're missing here. Um, if you think Jordan's still being generous with a five, and you think this figure is worse than the Ultimate Wolverine, also let us know that because <laughs> that would be a hard argument. But I could see where it could come from. So um, yeah, let us know what you think in the comments. Make sure that you're subscribed. I'm trying to put two of these out a week. Um, and until next time, stay strong. Mm -hmm.